Greetings everyone and welcome to another episode of our one day seasons playthrough and as you can see from the clock it is well it's about two o'clock in the afternoon actually and I made a major muck up where I planned to build pretty much the rest of the houses today but realised that I hadn't set hardly any of them up so I had to go around and do a load of the editing for the houses so it's basically at the moment just going around getting as many of them completed as I can so it's going to be probably quite a short video again and uh, not a lot to see unless you particularly want to see me banging walls now the good news is that the farmers do seem to be getting on with what they're doing the bad news is I think I'm gonna have to split the two big flax fields because we're probably getting about well, we've got one two we've got five fields so we've got 15 farmers working in the fields but we've got 18 farmers so I think I'm gonna certainly split one of the fields down next um, next spring or next winter so that we get an extra field that they can be doing stuff in obviously if I can get most of these houses done today we can get most of the well certainly all the farmers moved over and quite a few of the other villages as well which will help and then we're going to have to start destroying the old town as well but what I might do for that is switch over to something like a, a four day season for one season and literally just go around spending the whole season demolishing everything although I suppose we could leave a ghost town you know, a deserted old town because that will gradually fall into the disrepair and it would be interesting certainly if there was a couple of buildings that we could watch deteriorate when we went out on our travels sort of the original abandoned like we find the abandoned bandit camps we'll find an abandoned town somewhere which will be our old town now obviously that's going to cost us a lot in taxes Oops, that won't. Right, so yeah, I'll come back to you when I've done all this. Alright, well unfortunately, as you can see, we're not going to be getting um, done what I wanted to get done, as per usual. But we have got pretty much, I think, all the houses done. I think there's only possibly one more after this. I haven't had it time to, to stop and check really so I can move all the well, majority of the workers in certainly now I think I'm gonna have to build another couple of houses as well because looking at the the people that are living in the houses that they're living in it's almost certain that some of them are going to be single people so in other words they're over 18s that are currently still living in the parents house so obviously when we move the parents they won't move with them come on stop puffing like a train get your breath back a little bit uh yeah so i think i'm gonna have to build another couple of small houses at least now obviously because of the age of our people there's a good chance in the next couple of years we'll be losing a couple as well but there'll be older people so they'll leave a single um, husband or wife behind but hopefully the older numbers will start reducing well I say hopefully not hopefully because obviously it means we lose a lot of high level workers come on 
the last one, hopefully. Uh, yep, yeah, right. Ooh, where's a torch? Thank you. So, is that the last? That's the last house. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm going to try and squeeze one in there. I might get rid of that bit of road for the time being. Right, let's pick all this lot up while we're here. Come on, grab that, thank you. Yeah, so all those houses are now finished. Excellent. Um, I'm going to, hopefully, before we switch over, for, but actually... I'll do it now and come back to you. Right, we have a serious housing problem. We have got 16 single females and no single males. So I'm going to have to build. Well, I'm either going to have to build another 16, not 16 houses, um quite a few houses certainly or just leave the non-farmers down in the old town for the time being and um, it's going to cost us a lot in tax for the extra buildings but we could see they can work at the new buildings even if they don't live locally and they'll start working and producing straight away each day. So as long as I've got all the farmers up here, that shouldn't be an issue. I think we're going to have to do that, and that will obviously also give me time to get everything down here demolished that we don't need. Although, like I say, I, I might switch over to a maybe only a, a two or three day season for one season to demolish all the stuff I don't need. Ah, oh, sorry, we'll, we'll stick with the one days. If it takes us longer, it takes us longer. Um, yeah, so I need to build still. Um, any of it, oh, actually, that's a new house. That's a new house. Those four and the new houses the new single houses so I would only have to build a maximum of 12 and that one's down there so that one's up at the mine so that can stay there uh, any of the others up at the mine no right so what was it four five so i would only have to build a maximum of 11 houses assuming nobody dies now they're only going to be small houses so i could put probably two maybe five yeah i could i could fit them in sort of in this area can't really draw on it if i sort of expand the boundary across here and down I could get another 10 or 11 in there right well that's going to be for another day unfortunately now hopefully with everybody being switched around big switcheroo they'll be able to carry on working Uh, that they'll have moved by the morning. So I just need to check that we haven't got any farmers still living in the old village. Right, so I've done a bit of shuffling around. So hopefully the people now um, are all obviously going to start moving over the next half hour or so. And hopefully be in their new houses by the morning. Yeah, so I might have to clear this area here. Yeah, there'd be quite a few trees to come down. But we've got obviously plenty of room that we can chop down a load of trees. And like I say, hopefully, or sort of not hopefully, there'll be a, a load of people passing away in the next few seasons anyway. So we'll be able to 
maybe get away with not building quite so many houses. Hello, dear. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Another bucket of water. Oh, pear juice. Ooh. Lovely. Thank you very much, my dear. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Again, apologies for it being a short one, but unless you want to see me hammering away at walls for 35, 40 minutes, it seems a bit pointless, so just edit the video down. So, if you did like the video, please leave a like. Uh, any comments or suggestions, drop them down below. And if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, why not come and join us? And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.